It's time to get back into the 2022 NHL Draft, and the first player we're going to look at is Shane Wright. In a previous video, I established the top 15 order for the draft based off of a consensus of rankings, and Shane Wright came up number one in each and every one of them. So what do we know about his game, what type of player is he, and what can we expect from him? Now we're only interested in the top 15 picks at the draft because that's basically where the Islanders are going to be drafting from on draft day. And so we're starting from the number one and going all the way to number 15, and first one is Shane Wright. So who is he? Well, he's a center playing for the Kinston Frontenacs. He's 6'1", 187, shoots right. And as you can see here, he is the consensus number one pick. There isn't a single draft ranking out there that does not have him as number one. Okay, cool. Well, what kind of production does he put up then? Because he's got to have some monster numbers if he's going to be the consensus number one. And while the production is good, I wouldn't consider it monster numbers. He's got 63 points in 45 games. Again, good, like really good production, but not like, oh my God, eye-popping production either. Maybe what's more eye-popping is that he had 66 points in 58 games two years ago. He's 18 now. Two years ago, as a 16-year-old, he's putting up 66 points in 58 games. That's where you're like, holy hell, all right, take notice of that. But this year, not as great. Like, obviously better because he's 63 and 45 rather than 66 and 58. But still, it's not like insane levels of production. Now, what else do we know about his game? Because while production is great, it doesn't tell the whole story. There's more behind a player than just the number of points he puts up. And I'm going to rely here on David St. Louis from Elite Prospects, who did a great video on Shane Wright uh, and gave a good breakdown on the various attributes or the various aspects of his game. And so I'm going to link to the video in the comments below, and I, I suggest you go watch it. And so you can see the skills or the grading, sorry, that he gets for each skill category from skating all the way to the physical. And it's all above average, not insanely above average, but each one of those is above average, which tells a story. There isn't a weakness to Shane Wright's game. That's what makes him the number one pick. Not only is he putting up really good numbers, but he doesn't have a weakness to his game, right? Of course, that doesn't mean he can't improve that you'd, you'd like to see that go up from you know, just above average to a little bit higher than that. He's got room to grow as every 18 year old does, but he's already at a point where he's just flawless. He has no weakness to his game. Now add high skilled plays to his um, skill package. Like you can see here from behind the net, making this just disgusting play to score a goal. And you've got a really good player on your hands. Now, what is Shane Wright's ceiling at the NHL level? It's a top six center. So if the Islanders happen to win the NHL draft lottery and they pick first overall and they select Shane Wright, which I imagine they will, he's a top six center, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with a top six center. It's the thing here is that he's not a generational talent. He's not stepping into the NHL and is ready to dominate or lead a team on his own, independent of anyone else. That's not what he's going to do. That's not what he's going to be. And even then for the Islanders, because he isn't that type of player, they're not going to be like, cool, we drafted you into the NHL. You go right away, son. No. So that's your preview on number one overall, Shane Wright. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the button. And if you have, thank you, thank you, thank you.